when we look at what it means to be a neighbor and we try to overcome stereotypes and prejudice and a resort so quickly to hate and dislike and irritation, that we have to understand there are some things that truly are different in the time we live today. There are some things that are universal and are old, old stories. They're in the Bible, they're in the Quran, they're in our, his, you know, the narratives of human history of difference being easily susceptible to division and hatred. That is an old story, but there's some things that are new now. The seat at the table is about uh, human beings coming together and uh, eating uh, food, which is very good, but feasting on each other. The watchword of our faith is unity, and we support anything that brings about unity. The threat cannot be made to be the focus of a community's activity. Because the threat is such a small, almost insignificant number. And to generalize from what is happening in Iraq or Syria or elsewhere around the globe to a local community is actually analytically incorrect. Both numerically, it's inappropriate as a citizen, it's inappropriate in terms of the rights and um, the privileges that we've been granted as an American. It's inappropriate for police who have sworn to defend the Constitution and for military, who are dis uh, the Constitution of the government, to allow it. And so we have to move people in the pews, as I would say on climate, from disinterest to deliberation to design to doing and defending, from I want or I won't engage on this issue to I might engage on the Muslim Christian dialogue issue, to will, yes I will, that's design, and doing, I am doing this and then I'm going to defend it, which I, which I will and do and have right here today defended this kind of dialogue. That's the progression. It's a transactional thinking process. And psychologists say that sometimes it takes seven years for people to move from I won't to I might.